Hello, welcome to the Generator Bracelet webinar. So we've been kind of slacking on our webinars about going into the heart space. So please do walk with me into the heart space. Simply close your eyes if you wish. Put your attention right on the physical heart. And just breathe in that energy of the earth. Breathe in that energy of source, soul, creator, God. Bring them both those together within the heart to where you and your light are grounded and connected. All right. So for those of you who are attending live, hey there, please do check out the coupon code that we have for the next 12 hours um, on the bracelet generators. So the bracelet generators, um, gosh, I've been wearing tensor field generators ever since we first created them because they're a collapsible standard tensor field generator, um, which this geometry is based on the Genesa crystal, which was discovered by a plant geneticist in the mid 1900s. So this particular um, form collapses. So when it is collapsed, of course, it can be wore as a bracelet. So for Oh, gosh, ever since we started making the generators, I've been wearing them. This one is the Harmony generator. So right now we have three different size generators that are bracelets, which are the 222 out of the 888 series or the Metatron ring. We have the Harmony, Balance and Harmony. And we have the Golden Fire. And hey, everybody. Glad you guys are here today. All right, so... Out of the three generator bracelets that we have, they are a variance in size and frequency. Now, if you check out on the website on the generator bracelets, there is a little formula there, which I'm going to pull up that page right now. So the little formula that, that we created was basically we take a strip of paper about two inches wide, inch to two inches, and then you cut it to those specific lengths. So like for the 222 generator bracelet, the smaller one, you would cut that length to be seven and three quarter inches long. And then you tape those ends together. That would be about the inside circumference here. And then once you tape that together, you try to slip your hand through. If you can get your hand through easily, then this is the one. Um, otherwise, if you break that piece of paper getting it through, then you move up to the Harmony generator which the length of paper that you would cut, the inside diameter is approximately nine and one eighth inches. So this one will fit the majority of male hands on the planet. The 222, it'll fit uh, the majority of American sized female hands or wrists that is to fit over their hands onto their wrist. Now the golden fire bracelet, this one is a lot larger, a lot heavier duty. Um, it's one that I never used to wear bracelets, never was too fond of bracelets. Um, with this guy, I wore one of these golden fire generators on each wrist um, just until very recently. Um, I stopped wearing a lot of tools as I'm going through my own transformations, transitions. Um, I still wear quite a few though. And in my pockets, of course, I always have tools in my pockets. Um, so the generator bracelet for the golden fire, one of my favorites because I just like this golden fire frequency. So we'll talk about the three frequencies of tools as far as wearing as a bracelet and as far as turning into a tensor field generator. So one of the things before we discuss the different frequencies is how these guys will collapse and come back up and round. So when it's collapsed, it is creating a column of light. So kind of like just a standard tensor ring. A tensor ring will create a column of light that is the same size as the circle. So it's just a beam of light that comes up and down. That is the way a flattened generator is. Now, when you move the generator out into its spherical form, 
and it doesn't have to be completely round. It can be oblongy. It is still going to be shining out more like a sunshine than columns of light. So when this is creating that sunshine effect, we have the 222 generator that has a sphere of influence of, oh gosh, about 50 yards. Not really a huge sphere of influence. We have the Harmony generator, which has a sphere of influence, this particular model, of about five and a half to six miles. Then we have the Golden Fire generator. This one has a sphere of influence of nearly two miles. So out of these three generators, as far as the energetics goes, the 888 series, so this is the 222 generator, these ones are just a clean and clear. They're a grounding, a connecting. Um, they're just light. They're, um, they don't have all the stuff in them, such as, you know, frequencies and properties of all the plant, crystal, mineral kingdoms, or like the golden fire that has, you know, all the heavy duty clearing, activating, all of that. The 222 is just grounding connecting it's a clean energy i really like the 222 i wish i could wear this on my wrist just no way i can get that around my hand and the next size larger in these guys is about a four inch so um anyway the 222 phenomenal bracelet um i'd wear it if i could next is the balance and harmony or as we've just called it the harmony so the harmony bracelet the Harmony was our premier tensor ring for a number of years. It contains the frequencies and properties of all the plant, crystal, mineral kingdoms of the planet. It contains the frequencies and properties of each of the rings that came before it. So everything that we've ever created, including all the way back to the Sperling stuff with the 144 megahertz, the 177 megahertz, all of that, and all the rings that we've created up until this point are all within the Harmony. Now this does not, the harmony does not include like the golden fire or the regeneration. Those fields are not held within the harmony. But the harmony is something that is going to work with electromagnetics. So that's the thing is that all tensor fields are going to restructure all your base electromagnetic fields. Um, when you get into heavier duty stuff, if you are standing right in front of a 5G millimeter wave transmitter, you'll need the golden fire. If you're not staying right in front of a 5G millimeter wave transmitter, any of these are going to work for any of your standard electromagnetic frequencies that we all see. Same where you get cell phone service. You're in 4G. Not a bad thing. I love my technology. So the tools are assisting with transforming electromagnetics. Also, the harmony is going to be working with some of the denser energies, like a little bit of the denser consciousness. Um, it's not going to be working with like your ghosts, waywards, things like that. But the harmony, again, we've we had reports of the harmony generators clearing, you know, energetics of neighborhoods, and that's something that's that's always you know people have always talked about is how these guys affect entire neighborhoods when. Um, when our friend Dwayne Gardner with um, Organite Austin, he wrote a book and he did some research on the um, down in Austin, Texas. He wrote the New Science of Rain. Now he did research with the Harmony generators, and he was showing over the course of what was it two years? I think he was doing his studies how he was able to change weather patterns using the Harmony generators and frequencies and his tools, Organites, Cloud Busters. But the, the Harmony Generators are one that will accept programs, as is the 222. Both of these, you can put your human-based intentions into these, and it will carry it, amplify it, and broadcast it. So again, when it is in a spherical form, it's when it is broadcasting. They don't have to, again, they don't have to be perfect. They do come with little instruction sheets that just basically says, well, if you have one that's out around, see how this guy's out around, you can bend it 
gently back into shape. These things are really super sturdy. The only thing you have to watch for when you're bending is right where the welds are. You don't want to bend sharply on the weld because it can snap, even though we have a lifetime guarantee on the welds on the tools. So no worries if you do. So anyway, they don't have to be perfectly round, but that's part of what the instructions talk about is making them each of the circles round. Now, when it is in the spherical form, that is when you can add your intentions, as I was speaking, that you just basically, it's a touch, an intention, and a voice. So you can voice into this, and you don't have to voice it out loud. It can just be a thought. But basically, you would speak your intentions into the sphere, and it would hold them, amplify them, and broadcast them. So a lot of people who do radionics, it is the harmony that they use. And again, you can do that with the 222 as well. Now, when we get to the golden fire, let's see if there's anything else on the harmony that I need to share first before we go with the golden fire. Um, now, the harmony, it's uh, when you buy the harmony tensor field generator, um, we have the tensor field generator page where you can get the three and a half inch or else you can get the seven and a half inch. So this is that smaller version, uh, the bracelet and the generator that you buy are exactly the same. So this is really a phenomenal one. I like it a lot. It's a lighter gauge, um, sturdy. When you wear these, if you have the Harmony on and it feels a little big, you can expand it out on the wrist. Great steampunker material, right? Yeah. So anyway, it is something that you expand out and it doesn't flop around. So phenomenal way to wear it. When you are wearing these on your arm, of course, whether they are collapsed down or they're semi-spherical on the arm, it's basically going to be working without within your entire field. So even though this creates a column of light, it is still going to be creating that column of light that is interacting with your entire field. So when you're wearing this, it works on your left shoulder if you have issues there. I mean, this works throughout your entire body, wearing it on the wrist. So, and of course, we like to wear our tools over the heart. It's the best place for them. But anywhere within your field, it's going to be doing the work. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Golden Fire Generator. And if you guys have questions on these generators, please do drop them into the chat there. Golden Fire Generator. All right, this guy... Super heavy duty. It's one that when you buy a generator, the reason the generator is so much more than the bracelet is because when you collapse one of these guys, it is tough to make these circles round. So we spend a lot of time making them pretty when they're generators. But when you collapse them as a bracelet, I would recommend just leaving it as a bracelet. You can bring it out to a generator. Again, it's going to get out around, but again, it does not matter if these guys are a little wonky as far as how the rings are, whether they're not lined up to perfect triangles and squares, or whether the ring itself is not round. It is okay. It is still broadcasting that nearly two-mile sphere of influence. So the golden fire generators... The reason I like the Golden Fire Generator so much is because of the work that they are doing. Not only are they working with all of that more intense frequencies of electromagnetics, um, radionics, all this stuff, but they are also working with dense consciousness, ghosts waywards. They are bringing through that field of influence that is bringing a reminder to all souls within this two-mile area of the sacred heart, which is why we call these the golden fire is because it is that golden fire of the sacred heart, the trifold gold flame beyond religion. Um, so anyway, the golden fire tools are one of my all time favorites because of the clearing work that they do. So the golden fire bracelet generator is a phenomenal one that if you want to collapse this, wear it. And again, it's a heavy duty one. Took me some time getting used to it, but boy, after I did, I wore these effortlessly on each wrist for nearly two years. So 
It's a phenomenal one that you can take with you. You can even collapse it, drop it in your briefcase, school bag, pocket, purse, whatever. And then when you get to work, you can bring it out, you can sit it and let it do its job while you're at work or wherever you are. So phenomenal generators, the golden fire generator. All right, you guys, that's about all that I can really think of to tell you on the generators. Um, again, yeah, just be sure to check out on the website on the measurements of these things. Like I say, the 222 is a smaller petite one, phenomenal one. Um, just check your uh, measurements before you order. And, and Samson, yep, never leaves home without his golden fire generator. <laughs> That's for sure. They're pretty phenomenal. So anyway, if there are no questions, that's the basics of it. Um, we'll be doing a webinar soon on choosing the different generators as far as the frequencies go. But we have uh, we have some webinars already on the tensor field generators if you want to get a little bit more in depth with the tensor field generators. So, all right. Thank you all. Have a fantastic day.